How's it going, everybody? It is, uh, what is it? Is it Friday? Yeah, Friday night, obviously. It's Friday night. We just got Friday done doing night. balloon bucks. Yeah, Your we just... Your hair still looks fabulous. We just finished doing balloon bucks. Pam braided my hair on the live stream. Um, <laughs> I wish my See, we're still set up here. We got all the balloon bucks debris. We got the Kimmy. We got the Kimmy. We got the doggy. Isn't she so cute? Hi, Kimmy. Hello. Yeah, good girl. You good girl. Um... But yeah, that's the thing about when we do like a live show, there's always some sort of cleanup after. <laughs> it seems that way anyway. Um, pretty much every week. But um, sales have been excellent uh, the past 24 hours. We sold quite a few things last night and then also today. Uh, at least for our standards. I mean, we've got like, we've got like six things going out uh, tomorrow. I'm going to ship them out. And... Uh, Pam's going to be going yard sailing hopefully this week. Um, unfortunately, I have to work. Uh, I had most of this week off, but we ended up being short staffed, so I had to go in and uh, work today, and then I have to work tomorrow, uh, which that's okay. Not a big deal, but uh, that means I'm going to miss garage sales, but hopefully Pam can go and uh, hit some. We'll see, but hopefully she can. Um. <laughs> he already was sending me a list of places to go. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we are going to pull the orders real quick uh, that sold last night and today. Uh, like I said, they're, they're decent sales. Um, they're actually really, really good. So uh, we need to do that right now real quick. Let's see. What do we got? First thing that sold. I know it's here somewhere. Right here. This is, this is it. It's a Sony Handycam. We picked this up at a garage sale. We couldn't have paid more than 10 bucks for it. Uh, for the charger and everything. And... I listed this, I think it was on Wednesday I listed this, and it sold last night for $100 plus shipping. So that was a killer sale. I tested it. I uh, plugged it in. Actually, kind of a funny story. There was a tape in it already. There was like a blank cassette tape in it. And I played it. Well, it wasn't a blank, obviously, because it was, it was used a little bit. But I played it to see what was on it. And there was like this like... There was this funeral on there, like a military funeral that somebody filmed, which is kind of cool. I saved the tapes in case I ever want to like kind of figure out whose it is because they might want that. It was kind of a really interesting video. I watched it for a while and I was trying to figure out like if they would say, if they said any of the names in it or the if they said the name that uh, of the person that died and I, I didn't hear any of the names, um, but I'm going to save the tape nonetheless and keep it and... Uh, go through it maybe in the future and see if I can find the rightful owner because obviously they wanted to film that that person's funeral and uh, it was probably really important to them and who knows how it got in my hands you know like I might have bought this this from the person who didn't even know who that person was and the tape was just still in the camcorder I don't know but I had the tape right on my desk there and uh, I don't know I was thinking of maybe trying to find out the rightful owner because I don't know that's just like a really I would say like priceless keepsake um, of a soldier or somebody that was in the military that died at their funeral. Like, they actually filmed the whole thing. It was really cool. But anyway, $100 plus shipping on that. Really good, really, really good uh, sale there. I was pumped when we sold that. So the next thing that sold was an Atari game from this big Atari lot that we bought. We separated out the games, the consoles, all the accessories and stuff. Kind of made different lots on our eBay store. And this game we actually sold alone because it was like a little bit special. It's kind of like a well-known game. Um, a, a viewer told me one time that this game is kind of the game that killed Atari because it was so bad. Um, I don't know, but anyway. E.T. for Atari 2600. Um, the cartridge and also the little manual here, you guys can see that. Uh, got it in a bundle deal of Atari stuff at a garage sale. This sold today for $19.99 plus shipping. So I will take that. I listed this as untested and um, no idea if it works, but that's how I listed it. So listed it as is and it's that's what it sold for. So I'm not complaining there. That's good for just one Atari game, in my opinion. I think that's a, that's a really good price. Next thing that sold was this Lego Friends Lego set right here. Glad to get this out of here. This is a space taker upper. <laughs> um, this sold for $50 plus shipping. We picked it up at a garage sale for $10. So 
That was a great score there. Definitely a great, uh, great sale. These sold like both last night. So it was like $150 in sales just last night. That was great. I was excited. Next order actually went to a viewer, Jennifer. Jennifer has actually bought from us. They bought, she bought from us, I believe like a couple weeks ago. Um, which is awesome. So thank you, Jennifer, for your uh, continued support and your continued business. But uh, we sold a couple things. First thing is right here, is this right here, this uh, Green Bay Packers little purse bag thing. She said that she is a Green Bay Packers fan as well. Pam is a Green Bay Packers fan, so we have something in common there. That is super cool. She bought that. And then she also bought a game, this little Beyblade Bay Bay game right here. So thank you, Jennifer, for your order. We really appreciate it. We will uh, ship that right out to you tomorrow. So that is awesome. Um, I'm not sure when you're watching this, if this will be um, this week after we shipped it or not. But uh, but yeah, Jennifer, thank you for your order. And uh, we really, really appreciate the business. Then the next thing that sold, I had to pull this actually off the top shelf there in that box. I couldn't remember where I put it at first. And then I realized. Um, is this little Skylanders figure here. Um, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. Not big money at all by any means. Um, definitely expected this to be worth more money when I picked it at a garage sale. I can't even remember how much I had into it. Whoa. And there it goes. No, it's okay. Um, I can't remember how much I had into it. We had $5.50 plus shipping into this, so... Not a big sale, but uh, glad to move it anyway. And then finally, we sold a DVD VHS combo, which is amazing. I'm so glad to get these things out of here. Um, it's this one, right? It's not this one, but it's the one below it. Um, <clears throat> it's a Toshiba. Um, Toshiba DVD VHS combo. And uh, it's, it's like the higher end one with the HDMI. You can see right there import uh we had i can't even remember how much we had into this but it wasn't it wasn't a whole lot anyway we picked it up at a uh picked it up at a antique store actually and it uh it sold for not crazy money a little lower than i would have thought that it would have sold for and it sold for 41 dollars and 99 cents um, plus shipping of course and it's not super heavy and it's not super big like you can see it's not like a really wide one which is really good a lot of these things are really wide so I can fit, the, fit it in a somewhat normal size box um, but yeah so that is what sold those six things sold um, it's been a very very good sales day for a Friday here um, well and ending of Thursday Hey everybody, it is Saturday now, and we're back here in the eBay room. We just got back from running a few errands, and we went garage sailing today. Well, I kind of half went. <laughs> uh, Pam actually did a lot of the garage sailing, and you guys probably already saw that video. I apologize, um, I had the time. No, she did a great job. She did really good. It was hard. And, um, and then I also did garage sailing. We went to a few sales together once I get out of work. Um, but anyway, we're back home now. It's Saturday afternoon and um, some more sales have been rolling in, which is great. Uh, Pam mailed out the sales that we showed you earlier in this video. This morning. <laughs> and she mailed those out this morning, so that was great. But uh, yeah, sales have been uh, really great lately and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure like really what the reason is um, because we've been listing well, I've been listing a little bit this week, um, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say we've been listing like crazy. Like I've just been kind of lackadaisically putting uh, listings up. I've been starting with kind of our higher end or like higher dollar um, sort of items and getting those up first and then worrying about the little stuff after. But, um, but yeah, so I'm actually in the process of listing this Sony Handycam right now. Um, these things sell awesome. Uh, as you saw earlier in this video, uh, we sold one. I sold one within a day. 
I couldn't believe how fast it sold. I don't know if this one's worth quite as much. I think it's a little bit of an older model because it doesn't have the uh, digital option on it. The other one had, the one that I sold the other day um, had a digital option. So it had, you know, the cassette tech uh, for the cassette tapes, but it also had, um, I don't even know how you open this. The other one flipped up. Anyway, it also had um, the digital option. So it had like a memory card slot where you could record digitally. Um, but this one does not have that. So I'm assuming that this one probably is not going to be worth quite as much. I need to comp it out. But nonetheless, I'm really excited because if these are priced well, they do move, obviously. Um, the other one I might have underpriced a little bit. I don't know. I figured $100 plus shipping was very fair for it because it was just the camera, the charger, and a case. That's pretty much all that came with it and a few AV cables actually, but still, um, I couldn't believe how fast it sold. It was really, really good. So keep an eye out for older Sony Handycams. Some of them can be worth some decent money. Um, but anyway, let's get into what else has sold this Saturday. Um, first of all, we sold, I think we sold four things so far today, which is nice. First thing we sold was, oh, that's right. We sold some blank media guys. We just listed this blank media the other day. Um, Pam actually found this at a garage sale. I think it was the week before our wedding, so we haven't even had this that long. And these are some really, really nice Maxell tapes. These are high-end, uh, 90 minute ones. And, um, yeah, these, these, if you ever see these Maxell XL 2-S, uh, they are, all blank media is good, but this blank media, it's a little bit more of high-end. Um, and it's worth some money. So we had nine of these tapes here and I listed them for $80 plus shipping with the little container because I just figured I'd, I'd sell the container with it. So $90 plus shipping and they sold within a day. So super awesome. Definitely a really good find. Pam actually found these at a garage sale for $2. So that was a, that was a great score for sure. Um, next thing we sold was a pair of cleats and I believe they are over here. Uh, they, these were, uh, these were a retail find and there's some red, I think, uh, I don't know. Are those them? Let me look here. Let me make sure. Uh, oh, they're maroon. The maroon ones, Nike vapor untouchables so they're maroon let's see i know they're right here somewhere nope that's not them there they are i don't know if we have two pairs or one pair of these okay we've got two pair of these what size are these these are seven and a halfs and these are also okay so they're both the same so nike vapor cleats size men's size seven and a half so they're very small they're football cleats, as you can see there. They're really nice. They get that cool sparkle swish on there. Um, like I said, I've been saying it for a few weeks. We've been re doing really well with some football cleats lately. Oops. So uh, yeah, retail find. We had $20 into these cleats here and we ended up getting, I believe it was $50 plus shipping. Let me look, I forget. Let's see, yep, $49.99 plus shipping. So awesome there, sweet, sweet flip. <laughs> we sold a uh, tank top here. Um, one of these Project Rocks. Um, where is it? Size small. Got a bunch of them here. They're still sitting here because I just listed them the other day. I didn't fold them up and put them into any poly bags yet. So size small Project Rock tank top right there. I'm actually wearing one right now. I found one in my size. I had to keep it because I like. I really like this tank top. So. I kept one for myself, but this sold right here. We had $12 into this and we got $29.99 uh, free shipping on that. So not bad. I just listed that the other day. Uh, and then finally we sold, it's just a little sale here. We sold a um, GameCube game and I put the GameCube games over here. It's right here on top. Look at that. We sold Lord of the Rings. It's just a loose GameCube game. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. And if you haven't seen our channel, uh, you might not know, but we have all these uh, loose GameCube games right here that we got in a huge uh, lot at a garage sale. And uh, we've been selling through them 
fairly consistently, I would say. Um, but yeah, so we sold this Lord of the Rings Return of the King. So that'll go first class in a little bubble mailer, I'm sure. Um, but we got, oh, what did we get? We got, let's see. Three dollars and ninety cents plus shipping, so not a very big sale, but I mean it all adds up because from this bundle, big giant lot deal, I just threw a bunch of stuff in an IKEA bag, and that was one of the things that was in there that we found when we got home because there's so much stuff we didn't know what we really had fully until we got home. But uh, we're already in majorly in profit in that deal, so yeah, it's a little sale, but all those little sales add up uh, because technically we don't have anything into them anymore. So. That's pretty good. Those are the sales that are going to be going out Monday. They'll be going out Monday because it is Saturday right now. And we can't ship till, till Monday because uh, the post office is closed. But anyway, um, just finished uploading a video to YouTube as well. Uh, the garage sale video from this weekend. And then uh, now I'll probably do a little bit of listing. I want to get that Sony Handycam up. I want to list some other stuff. i got Axis and Allies here. I got the Rosetta Stone. Uh, that we picked up. I'm going to list that on Mercari because as you guys probably know, uh, Rosetta Stone is Vero'd on eBay and you cannot list it because it's copyrighted or something. I don't know. The listing will get taken down anyway or you possibly can get suspended if you try to sell it. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to try to list that onto Mercari because those sell very well. Uh, but anyway, I think that should pretty much do it here, let me go bring you guys out to Pam. She can say bye to you guys. She's out there. We're getting ready to uh, do some cooking too. I'm gonna cook on the grill tonight. Make some steak tips, make some sausage maybe. Have all kinds of delicious things. What are you doing? Watching Netflix. Watching Netflix? Aw. Watching Netflix with the baby. Hey buddy. Hello. Yes, you too. You too, Kimmy. You a good girl? You wanna say she's, hi to everybody? She's probably like, yeah, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, yeah. YouTube. Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Keep dreaming, you crazy dreamers, and you'll be able to go to the garage sales all by yourself like me. <laughs>